Okay, we're going to use what we did before, right? So the centripetal acceleration is 4 pi squared r over t squared, right? Uh, if you're not getting this problem, it might be that you have the wrong radius. I do believe I printed it with a radius of 0 0.6210, which would be the diameter, actually. I'm so sorry about that. So check that first. That might be the source of all your problems. This ended up being uh, 7.2416 when we figured it out in the first part. So if you want to see that calculation, it's in part two. Right? And then the, the weight of the object is mg. And this ended up being 24.525 uh, newtons, right? And then it says, what, what force and what direction does the rod exert at the bottom? So here we are at the bottom. Understand that as we go around and around in this circle, that we're actually accelerating toward the center. So when we're at the bottom, the centripetal acceleration is upward, right? So the centripetal acceleration is positive. So all we're going to do is just set up a, a formula just like we did, right? We've got some for unknown force acting on it. Gravity is acting down. Gravity always acts down. Don't be making gravity act up, right? Okay, and then that's 2.5 because that's our mass, right? Times the acceleration. So we're going to use this and we're going to make it positive. And that's the only difference between the top and the bottom. Right, is that at the bottom we're accelerating up, at the top we'll be, we would be accelerating down, right? But this is at the bottom. At the bottom. All right, so to do this, I'm going to go this times this, so 2.5 times this, right? And then I'm going to add that thing plus that. I've stored those in registers in my calculator. That's how supremely uh, lazy I am. I'm getting that the force is 42. 629 newtons. The fact that it's positive means that it's up. Okay. The force at the bottom is always going to be up. The force at the top will be either up or down. Okay. It'll be upward if the acceleration like this is less than 9.81. If it's 9.81, the force is zero at the top. And if the acceleration is more than 9.81, then we actually have a downward force that we would exert. You don't need to understand that. That's just going to happen when you do this. Okay, So just be mindful of that. Here, it could be up or down. Here, it's always going to be up, but I do want you to say it. Okay, What force in what direction? So don't forget to say the direction. All right.